It's been just over a week since I bonded the rabbits and here's Piper and Bigwig. Oh, and here are the other two. So I wanted to do a little update to let you all know how they're getting on because obviously it was <laughs> very early days in the last video and um, oh, she getting a groom. Yeah, so it's been just over a week now and to be honest on the first couple of days it was quite unsettled and oh hello and to be honest all very normal and to be expected really because of the fact that they'd only just been put together it was all very new so the chasing and everything did continue for a couple of days and I, didn't, I don't think they shared the hutch on the first night. I think they kind of kept to themselves in their own, like, in their original pairs. Um, but then, like, the next day, I think it was. I mean, towards the end of the day, they were getting better, certainly. But the next day, they were so much better. And I found them all sort of cuddled up on the straw bale, which was absolutely lovely to see. Um, and Piper, to be honest, Piper was the one who was sort of most being the most dominant and doing a lot of chasing and everything probably because it's um, when two new females are coming into like their established pair it's obviously going to unsettle things for her she's always just had big wig to herself but to be honest she's really accepted them well into um, their group and oh <laughs> And yeah, she's just been great with them, to be honest. And I've... <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah, I'm just super happy, honestly. It's an absolute dream to see these four together. And I never thought it would be possible, to be honest, to add any more to the pair, just because <laughs> they had such a close relationship. But it's just giving them so much more interest and Bigwig obviously loves them um, you know he's quite happy to have a few more females they all just get on so well yeah they they sit together all the time um, and they interact really well together there's very little dominant behaviour to be honest they're just completely settled into their place so I'm just chuffed for them really um, it's amazing to have a little group of four <laughs> and just the way they interact it's definitely given Piper and Bigwig a lot more interest because they, they didn't do a whole lot to be honest they used to spend most of the day just cuddled up which was really sweet but obviously it's got to be good for them to have more social interaction and 
to be able to kind of interact with other rabbits must be really good for them. But yeah, just wanted to let you all know how they're doing because obviously, you know, it was quite eventful for everyone on that day and <laughs> she's so bouncy. Jasper shouldn't be in here, but as soon as I open that door, he's straight in. <laughs> he obviously loves it because the mice are in here and he's definitely interested in them. <laughs> Honestly, I was quite terrified at the time as well. It's a nerve-wracking experience when you've, well, even for people who've probably done it before, but certainly having never bonded rabbits myself, I was a bit apprehensive. But yeah, I think given their personalities as well, like Enya and Ola are just the sweetest little bunnies. Um, they're very submissive as well and very friendly. So... I think that helped massively. The personalities are a huge factor, I think, in in the whole rabbit bonding. But you can see Piper has even been really accepting of the other girls. Like, she's actually seems really close with them, which is just really good progress from when they first met. Are you chewing that? <laughs> she's chewing the camera strap. <laughs> but yeah, they're just. Such lovely, lovely rabbits. Very sweet and very good natured. You can see how tame they are as well with me. They're probably more tame than Piper and Bigwig. Just that's just like how they are, really.